what's up guys today I'll be showing you my boards and my essentials that I'll bring to Portugal What's up guys, this is a 6-2 from us, Alessandro Pierre, my good friend Patrick Bevan, he told me about these boards and they've been working really well. So I always like to bring a little step up, my 6-2 is from 6 to 10 foot waves and uh, Portugal is a place where the waves can go from 3 feet to 12 foot really fast, so it's good to bring a good step up. Next five boards are all gonna be uh, Almerics. It's three different models. I'm gonna start with this one. This one's a Roki 15 and a 511. This board works in all type of conditions. This board I use it when I'm in free serves and um, it's been working really well. So it's an overall board, but it works really well. So guys, um, you're probably wondering what the hell is this? This is like a condom. It protects you from not damaging your boards. So um, I'm gonna show you this board. This board is actually my, kind of my air board. Flyers are good for small waves because it flies through like flat sections I've been surfing this one it's been working really good on my airs my backside airs this is the board yeah I know this paint job is not really good <laughs> but uh, I like it but this board is a Fever. The Fever is um, one of my favorite boards. It's um, this is my magic board actually. This is only when I'm gonna be competing. So this board is really good. What is a magic board? What a magic board is? It's a board that you grab and just no matter what, you know it's gonna work. It's gonna go perfectly as you want. is a too happy it's my second favorite model I've been surfing it lately and it just works really good I really like it when it's like a bit hollow and like three to four foot waves when it's too big it's not my favorite and actually the other day I broke it pretty sad but uh, it is what it is uh, from too happy to too sad <laughs> Well guys, this is another too happy. This is not broken, so it's too happy.
too happy. <laughs> uh, this is a 510 and a half. This board is magic, really magic. So when the waves are a bit flat and mushy, I don't really like it. But when it's hollow, oh my God, it's just my favorite board. So uh, this one is a magic one. I think this paint job is a bit better just because it was more clean. You can see the logos a bit better. And yeah, this is the last board of the quiver. And I love it. This is an all around kind of valve hat. Guys, now we're gonna go through essentials. These are my fins. These are my go-to fins. This is my favorite fins, the Almeric ones. They just work really good. It's a large model, and um, it's the ones I use in my competitions. I'm gonna use them in, when it's three to six foot. From six to 10 foot, I use the MIG fending ones. And they work really, really good too when it's big because it holds on and um, you know that they're gonna work good when, it's, when the waves are a bit bigger. So that's my go-to for bigger wave and this is my small medium waves. Wetsuits guys, really important. Bring wetsuits to Portugal because yes, the water it is cold. Uh, when it's sunny, it's a beautiful day, I use a 3-2. These three tools of Quicksilver are just crazy. You don't even feel the cold. It's just like, it's super light and you don't even feel the cold. So yeah, this is a really good three two. And for the first time, I've been using a five four three in the morning. So when the waves are kind of inconsistent and it's a bit stormy out there and it's the mornings that are really cold, I like to keep myself warm. I've been using a 543 and um, yeah, these are my Portuguese Go wetsuits. Guys, these are my leashes. So this one right here, this is my competition leash and it's because it's really thin and not really big. This one right here, I use it when the waves are bigger from like four to eight foot waves. This one is not really big, but it's really strong. It's like pretty much unbreakable. And here in Portugal, it's really good that you bring a leash that is strong because here you might be surfing reef breaks. And if you break your leash, it might go in the rocks. So make sure to have a good, strong leash. So yes, these are my two favorite leashes. So shout out to FCS best in the game without a doubt by the way I was gonna finish the video with the leashes but no straps straps are super essential when you travel so like by example you get to the airport and the taxi is too small to put the boards inside strap um, you're too many in a car you rent a car and you're too many people straps put it on the roof straps are super essential because if not you're gonna be in a shitty position or be renting a big taxi and you're gonna be paying way more than normally so straps are really important don't mistake that bring some and uh, yeah I hope you guys like this video this is uh, my quiver for Portugal and my essential stuff just don't forget subscribe to the channel like it because this will help me grow my channel and I really want to keep doing stuff like this for you guys and please leave a comment what do you want me to show about my life and what do you guys want me to do for you guys um, thank you so much and uh, thank you to Devin behind the camera he's the man behind all of this without him this shit impossible so thank you so much uh, I want to thank all my sponsors too Quicksilver FCS and Stone for the support. Thank you so much. And don't forget, have a good time. This is the good life. <laughs>